you've got a gentleman. Absolute, he's a diamond. An absolute diamond. And I'm delighted to call him my best friend. You really got a good one. You really got a good one. Despite having over half of my lifetime to prepare for a father of the bride's speech for my daughter, I am still standing here today, speechless at how beautiful she looks. Yay! I'm extremely proud of you, Mark. Um, I've watched you grow up to be the man you are today. You know, the thing about him is I respect him more and more each day that we talk about stuff. And uh, I love him more now than I ever did. And since the first day I saw him when he was in the cot in the maternity ward. I, Mark, take you, Alwyn, as my wife. For better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, all the days of our life. I, Alwyn, take you, Mark, as my husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of our life. It takes a strong person to, to keep me down or tie me down and oh, Alwyn has done that, uh, done it in spades, you know, and, and we really bounce off each other and we're good for each other and I couldn't have been a happier man today to see Alwyn come up and Michael hand her over to me uh, at, at the church at the top of uh, St. Um, Joseph's today. And um, she's maybe the happiest man in the room and the happiest man on earth today and I, I'm just so proud to stand up here and just say that she's my wife, you know. Great pleasure and great privilege to be the first person in human history to introduce this particular newly married couple, Mark and Alwyn. I invite you to give them a clap and please do visit. <laughs> 